Cambridge Associates, cryptocurrencies worthwhile for long-term investors. Leading institutional investment consulting firm Cambridge Associates holds that institutional investors should consider exploring cryptocurrencies for the long-term or hodling Bitcoin lingo. Dot cryptocurrencies may upend the digital world. Cambridge Associates is a Boston-based institutional investment consulting company with more than $300 billion in assets under advisement. It holds that it's high time for institutions to consider cryptocurrencies, Bloomberg reports. The firm asserts that, despite the twists and turns, cryptocurrencies may very well upend the digital world. Despite the challenges, we believe that it is worthwhile for investors to begin exploring this area today with an eye toward the long term. Though these investments entail a high degree of risk, some may very well upend the digital world. However, the consulting firm also recommends spending a considerable amount of time learning about this space, exploring the different ways to invest. Despite the tumbling prices across the entire cryptocurrency market over the past year, Cambridge Associates says that the industry is actually developing. The dramatic declines that swept across the crypto space raised questions about the future of these assets and the blockchain technology that underpins them. Yet, in looking across the investment landscape, we see an industry that is developing, not faltering. Institutions dipping their toes. Some long-term focused institutions are already taking note and dipping their toes into the arena. According to the Q4 2018 report of Digital Currency Asset Manager Grayscale Investments, institutions and retirement accounts comprise the lion's share in cryptocurrency investing. Earlier this month, Bitcoinist reported that Fairfax County employees in Fairfax County Police Pension Plans became the first U.S. public pensions to invest in a $40 million cryptocurrency fund. Former Wall Street hedge fund manager Mike Novogratz recently said that institutional money is going to start flowing into the cryptocurrency market within the next 6 to 12 months. Following the rollout of custody solutions by trusted institutions such as Fidelity. Meanwhile, Fidelity's Bitcoin custody service is set for launch in March. What do you think of Cambridge Associates' position on cryptocurrency? Don't hesitate to let us know in the comments below. Disclaimer Price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains, as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please click the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. Elon Musk, Bitcoin hodlers deserve a Nobel Prize. Tesla founder Elon Musk became the center of attention for the Bitcoin community again February 21, after revealing he still only owned 0.25 BTC. Musk, I still have 0.25 BTC, no altcoins. Following coverage of his describing Bitcoin as brilliant in a podcast by disruptive investment firm ARK Invest earlier this week, Musk tweeted that despite his enthusiasm, he had marginal amounts of the cryptocurrency. Elon Musk. I still only own 0.25 BTC, which a friend sent me several years ago. Don't have any crypto holdings, he wrote. The balance remains unchanged despite previous Bitcoin applause from the Tesla mogul, who had already mentioned the gift in previous interviews. His comments nonetheless swiftly attracted major attention, coming in light of an effort to make Musk participate in Bitcoin's Lightning Network LN. As Bitcoinist reported, the Lightning Torch transaction relay, underway since January, aims to increase awareness of zero-fee instant Bitcoin payments for consumers. The project has seen high-profile participation and ongoing advocacy from Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, and community members hope that Musk will follow in his footsteps. Binance CEO, let's trade Tesla for Bitcoin. At the same time, Changping Zhao, CEO of cryptocurrency exchange Binance, followed up on Musk's latest comments with an offer to purchase a Tesla for Bitcoin. 
he tweeted, I still don't have much of a Tesla, let's trade some. On the subject of Bitcoin's potential, Musk has remained restrained compared to Dorsey, adding only that early buyers deserve a Nobel Prize in delayed gratification. Whoever owns the early BTC deserves a Nobel Prize in delayed gratification. Elon Musk, at Elon Musk, February 21, 2019. For the latter, it would appear progress integrating Lightning will be swift. Both Twitter and payment network Square, he hinted last week, could be in line for Bitcoin and micropayments. Bitcoin is resilient. Bitcoin is principled. Bitcoin is native to Internet ideals. And it's a great brand, he stated in further comments. As Bitcoinist mentioned earlier today, micropayments are already available for Twitter users via third-party browser extension for Firefox and Google Chrome. What do you think about Elon Musk's Bitcoin holdings and comments? Let us know in the comments below. Coinbase Neutrino acquisition reveals history of spying and got data selling. Cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase is facing an increasing publicity nightmare after it emerged the CEO of a company it took over sold private user data to governments. Coinbase, Neutrino will help prevent theft. Announced February 19, Coinbase now owns Italian blockchain surveillance startup Neutrino. Having acquired the company for an undisclosed sum, by analyzing data on public blockchains, Neutrino will help us prevent theft of funds from people's accounts, investigate ransomware attacks, and identify bad actors. Engineering director Varence Renivison wrote in an accompanying blog post. It will also help us bring more cryptocurrencies and features to more people, while helping ensure compliance with local laws and regulations. Neutrino staff will now relocate to Coinbase's London office and will continue working, as before without redundancies. Neutrino CEO worked for first police pieware sellers. No sooner had Coinbase revealed the takeover did cryptocurrency industry participants immediately sound the alarm over Neutrino's roots. Giancarlo Russo, its CEO, previously worked as crew of hacking team, a Milan-based outfit with a scandalous reputation. Described by Verge as the first sellers of commercial hacking software to the police, hacking team's spyware enables clients to engage in a huge number of surveillance activities. These include the covert collection of emails, SMS messages, call history and address book data, as well as keystroke logging phone tapping of Skype calls, and even data about cryptocurrency wallet usage. A further article in UK newspaper The Telegraph in 2015 saw the company's founder David Vincenzetti confirm such capabilities were being sold to governments and other entities in 20 countries. Congrats to Coinbase on the acquisition of chain analysis startup Neutrino, Fee, the CEO, Giancarlo Russo was ex coup of hacking team https colon slash slash t dot co slash q y q six m l u eight x e who sold offensive intrusion and surveillance capabilities to governments, law enforcement agencies and corporations. Pick twitter dot com v v z a five agilia. Arjun Balaji at Arjun Bulge, February nineteenth, twenty nineteen. Social media commentators picked up the hacking team connection with the Coinbase acquisition, while others appeared to quickly catch on. Goodbye, Coinbase, not interested in having my data, identity, and crypto ownership data served to every government agency on a silver platter, CoinShares CSO Meltem Demiroars added in her own response. As Bitcoinist reported, Coinbase has felt the pressure from elsewhere this month. In another questionable security move, the exchange now allows users to store the private keys to wallets in the cloud. What do you think about Coinbase acquiring Neutrino? Let us know in the comments below. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains, as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please click the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again.
See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. Ethereum's Vitalik Buterin discloses non-ETH crypto holdings and other revenue sources. Ethereum, ETH, co-founder Vitalik Buterin has disclosed that his crypto investments are virtually exclusively devoted to the Ethereum network, in a post published to an Ask Me Anything, AMA, Reddit thread on February 18. The AMA post has dedicated the Ethereum leadership and accountability, asking those in leadership positions in the F community to share their possible conflicts of interest. In Buterin's summary, his total holdings of non-Ethereum ecosystem tokens, comprising Bitcoin Cash, BCH, Bitcoin, BTC, Dogecoin, Doge, and Scash, Zek, account for less than 10% of the value of his Ethereum holdings. A further set of non-F Ethereum ecosystem tokens, comprised of Kyber, KNC, Amasego, OMG, Maker, MKR, OMG, and Augur, Rep, are similarly reportedly collectively worth less than 10% of Buterin's Ethereum F holdings. Buterin also disclosed on the AMA that he has significant corporate shareholdings in blockchain research and development firm Clermatics, as well as in scalability and privacy-focused blockchain startup Starkware. The latter notably develops cryptographic technologies such as zero-knowledge proofs, of which Buterin is a vocal proponent. Aside from this, Buterin revealed his external revenue over the past 12 months, aside from the Ethereum Foundation, was accounted for by his advisory role for the tokens disclosed in his holdings. Vitalik also discussed his non-financial involvement in other blockchain projects, including the ecosystems for the aforementioned tokens, as well as several non-token-based Ethereum-related organizations, such as 4Lira, Plasma Group, Eth Global, and Edgen. He is also reportedly involved in several non-token-based and non-Ethereum organizations, mainly professional cryptography and economic circles, which he didn't specify. As reported, Vitalik has recently been engaged in an Ethereum developer's discussion in regard to a new smart contract creation feature set to be released in the forthcoming Constantinople hard fork. Some community members had voiced their concerns that the feature could have negative security implications, which Buterin refuted, while emphasizing the need to evolve the feature in question with the longer roadmap in view. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains, as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please click the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon. How Nasdaq may have created the first 2019 bull run. Nasdaq could be helping the cryptocurrency market more than expected. On Monday, the US stock market exchange announced two cryptocurrency indexes. They will be providing real-time spotter reference rate for Bitcoin, BTC, and Ethereum, F. These are going to be called the Bitcoin Liquid Index, BLX, and the Ethereum Liquid Index, ELX. NASDAQ is helping the cryptocurrency market. The cryptocurrency market has been in a bear trend since the beginning of 2018. This is something that affected most of the digital assets in the space. At the beginning of the current week, Bitcoin and most of the cryptocurrency market experienced an important growth. Most of the virtual currencies registered important gains and start to move far away from their multi-year lows. These indexes will be extracting price data from several exchanges and provide onlooker single price point for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. According to Nasdaq, independent auditors verified the methodology of obtaining and unifying price data to represent the best United States dollar's value of these virtual currencies. About it, the exchange mentioned, the BLX is one of the most widely referenced BTC indices among crypto traders and has been calculated back to 2010. Meanwhile, the ELX price tracks data from 2014. These indices use an algorithm created by the research firm Brave Newcoin. 
The algorithms will refresh price information every 30 seconds. The Nasdaq is going to list number Bitcoin and number Ethereum indices. The herd is coming. A number BTC and number FETF will be next. At a Pompliano number crypto number blockchain number cryptocurrency number digital asset https colon slash slash t.co slash z a y z 9 a v k l b Roland, at Roland Stouts, February 14, 2019. This could be very positive in many different ways for the crypto market. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SECT, has rejected the applications of nine Bitcoin exchange-traded funds. The reason behind this decision was related to market manipulation. According to the regulator, exchanges acting as Bitcoin's reference price point remained loosely regulated. In November 2018, Bloomberg reported that Nasdaq was planning to launch Bitcoin futures contract in 2019. According to these reports, the exchange was working with the Commodity and Futures Trading Commission CFTC, to solve some of the regulatory issues mentioned by these agencies. At the moment, it is not clear whether the BLX would play a crucial role in Nasdaq futures offerings. However, it provides transparency to a market that has been attacked for the lack of transparency. Bitcoin and most of the virtual currencies registered important gains in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin grew 2%, while Binance Coin, BNB, registered the best performance among the top 10, growing almost 12% during the same period of time. Disclaimer, price articles and markets updates are intended for informational purposes only and should not to be considered as trading advice. Neither OhioBitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses or gains, as the ultimate decision to conduct a trade is made by the reader. Always remember that only those in possession of their own private keys are in control of their own money. If you enjoy this type of content please click the like and subscribe buttons below it helps us to get more views. Thanks again. See you with more Bitcoin headline news and analysis soon.